So quickly guys, before the tutorial starts, I do want to mention that I will be adding a Lego on my tutorials to unlock the templates that I show you how to make. The main reason being so you guys can actually watch the tutorials and learn from it so you guys can make your own designs. I'm not going to release the templates right away because some people completely disregard the video and go straight to the download link for the template without even watching the tutorial. So hopefully by adding a like goal that will encourage you guys to watch the video in its entirety and hopefully learn some new design techniques. I also want to thank all my subscribers and supporters. My channel has been doing so well lately. I've been gaining so many new supporters and I really want to thank everyone who has supported my channel. You guys have been killing it with the comments and the likes. So thank you all very much for sticking around. And we're getting close to 3,000 subscribers, which is insane. So thank you all very much. I really appreciate everyone's support. And with that being said, please like the video and enjoy this video. How's it going everyone? My name is Ruby and today I'm bringing to you guys a Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create some clean lower thirds for your YouTube videos. These are super simple to make and if we hit 50 likes on this video, I will be releasing the free template to this lower thirds pack. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and let's begin. The first thing we want to do is go up to file and you to create a new Photoshop document. Now the dimensions of your document will just depend on the resolution of your recorded videos. So if you record your videos in 720p, then you want to set your width to 1280 pixels and your height to 720 pixels. But since I recorded my videos in 1080p, I will set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Make sure that it's set to pixels and the resolution we want to change that to 100. For the background content, we want to change that to a transparent background and click create once you're done. The next thing we're going to do is create a new layer by going up to layer, new, and layer. And you just want to rename that layer to rounded rectangle. And click OK. Once you have that rounded rectangle layer created, you now want to go into your tools bar in the left side. If you have it, if you don't have the toolbars, go up to window and make sure tools down here in the bottom is checked. So you go into your tools bar and you're going to want to grab the rounded rectangle tool so you just hold on this icon and select this tool right here. We're going to change the fill color of this to a different color so click on this box to bring up the color picker tool and in the bottom we want to change that color code to F70D2E and that gives you a nice red color. Once you're done with that click OK. And if you have any stroke on the rectangle, you want to click on this box to get rid of the stroke. Then you want to go to the radius settings right here and you want to change that from 0 to 200. And that gives your re rectangle rounded corners. So once you have that, you're going to want to now go back into the rounded rectangle layer that you created. You want to determine where you want your lower thirds to come out in your videos. So I'm just going to draw my rounded rectangle on the left side of my document. So just draw something like this. And you can do it um, large or whatever, but this is just the size of your lower third. So just draw something like that. So you should have a shape like this and you can just position this wherever you want. So it can be in the center, in the top, in the bottom. But I'm just going to do that in the middle of my canvas. So once you have that, you're going to now want to create another new layer by going up to layer, new and layer. And we're going to want to rename this layer circle and click OK. With that circle layer, we're going to want to now select the ellipse tool. So we'll go back into this rounded rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool. The fill color for this, we will change it to 121D1F and that gives us a dark blue color and click OK. Again, we want to remove any stroke that we have and we want to now draw a smaller circle about the same size of that rounded rectangle so select that and just draw a small circle make sure you're holding shift to keep the proportion of your circle so you should draw something like this once you have a shape about the same size of this you can just drag this to the lower third and make sure you overlap it like so and just make it a bit smaller so just position it like this above your lower third background and you should have a shape like that. So let me just make it like this. 
So that's what you should have right now for your lower third base. You then want to duplicate the circle layer by right clicking on that layer and selecting duplicate layer and that gives you this window and you can just rename this to small circle and click OK once you're done renaming it. You then want to zoom in and you want to go up to edit and free transform and you want to drag one of these corner anchor points inward by holding shift and alt and that lets you resize the, the circle so just make a smaller circle once you're done click this check mark and you have this small duplicate so you can just drag that right here and to change the color of that circle we're going to double click on the square and it brings up the color picker tool and we want to just click on this red color and it gives you the same color as the background so you should have something like this now you are basically done with the base of your lower third now it's just a matter of adding your social media icons and your text since this is going to be a youtube lower third you're going to want to download a youtube png logo so i recommend you guys download a png logo from google so i'm just going to drag and drop a youtube icon that i have downloaded i'm just going to drag that into my document and it is pretty large so what you want to do is hold shift and alt and drag one of the corner anchor points anchor points inward and that gives you a smaller size and you can click this check mark once you're done with the desired size of the YouTube logo and we want to drag that above the circle right here and we want to center it and just make it a bit smaller you should have something like this you want to position it in the center of the gray circle or blue circle so you should have something like that. Now we want to change the color of the YouTube logo by right clicking on the YouTube logo layer and going up to blending options. You then want to go down to color overlay and you want to make sure the blend mode of that is set to normal and the opacity is set to 100%. Then to change the color you click on this box right here and it brings up the color picker tool again. And you just want to set that to a white color and click OK once you're done and click OK here and you basically have a white color for your YouTube logo. You then want to add some text so create a new layer. Then you want to select the text tool is going to be this tool right here make sure that is selected and the font that I will be using for this text is going to be Unisans heavy italic caps and I want to change the size of that font by clicking on this drop down menu and you want to select 24 PT. The color of the text will be white so click on this box right here and pick a color that you want like I said I will be using a white color for the text click OK once that is set now you want to just start typing your text I'm just going to click anywhere on the document and just start typing so just write like subscribe and just double click this text and I'm just going to change this setting right here change the spacing so once you're done with your text, you can click this check mark and you can center it in the middle of your lower third. You then want to duplicate that text layer and you want to right click, duplicate the text layer and you can just name this subtext. And this is going to be the text that is below your main text. So once you have that, you just drag it below the original text. Now you can edit that text by going back to the T text tool and you can just double click this. And you can write your YouTube name. The size of this font will be 15. So go back into your drop down menu. And just select 15. I'm just going to use 16 or 15. Yeah, you can just use 15. And click this check mark once you're done. And you can just position this wherever you want. So you guys are basically done with your lower third. This is how it will look in my video. So just imagine this as my video and this is where the lower third will come out from so that's how you guys can make it i'm just going to edit the text a little bit it is a bit spaced in so that's pretty much it that's how you guys can make your lower third that's going to be a youtube one so you're done with your lower third you can then select all the layers in the layers panel and you want to click on the first layer hold shift and click on the last layer once you have done that you want to group them into a folder to do that you right click on any layer and you want to group the layers you can then name this youtube just to keep track of all the lower thirds that you will be making so click ok and that will give you a folder for your youtube 
lower third. So once you've done that, you want to duplicate the group that you just made by right clicking on the YouTube folder and duplicate group. You then want to name this Twitter. I will be showing you how to make a Twitter lower third this time. So name that Twitter and you get a duplicate of that subscribe button. And now I will just change the YouTube logo into a Twitter logo. So I'm just going to drag and drop this Twitter logo that I downloaded. Again, we want to resize it by holding shift and alt and just dragging that to about the same size as the YouTube logo. And you can just position that in the center of this circle like we did before using the YouTube logo. So let me just zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you have this size right here. And now we can go back into the YouTube logo and we want to right click on that layer and copy the layer style. Then you can just get rid of the YouTube logo. Now we want to go back into the Twitter logo and paste the layer style and that gives you the same color as the YouTube logo. Once you have that, you can now change the background color of your lower third. So to do that, you double click on the square of the rounded rectangle and you can pick any color that you wish. For the Twitter um, color, I will be choosing a light blue color. So the color code will be 0DB2F7. And that gives me a nice light blue color. Now we want to change the color of this small circle right here. So again, we double click on this rectangle and click on this background and it gives you the same color. So that's basically how you guys can edit the lower third. And you could change the text, so go back into your Twitter folder, double click on this T, and you can now write your at name for Twitter. And the same goes for the main text, just double click this T to edit it, and you can put follow me, Twitter. So that's your Twitter lower third. So I'll just show you guys a quick speed art of me making some other different lower thirds. So like I said before, if we hit 50 likes on this video, I will be releasing the free template to this lower thirds pack. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like as I would greatly appreciate it. And please make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and free templates. Hope you guys enjoyed.